All right, guys, so we did some simple insulation um, today for a sun beer between here and the actual living room on the other side. Because the last thing I want is for people to hear me bust an ass in here when the toilet is in here. Um, we have sheetrock coming tomorrow on Friday, the 29th. And then we'll have sheetrock and texture next time you see the bathroom. So until then, let me do a spin. Uh, I don't remember what way I spun last time you guys saw me, but it is Saturday. Got the sheetrock up yesterday. Uh, mudded last night and some more coats today. He's gonna texture tomorrow. I am not a sheetrocker, guys. Not a fan. And just like that, we have texture. It is Monday. This is called knockdown texture. I did get rounded edges on this little wall here and around my skylight, if you can tell. Um, so I'm gonna paint the ceiling. I believe it's called Bistro White, is what the color is. This is a semi-gloss interior paint and primer. I'm gonna paint the ceiling white. We're gonna do that today. We're gonna double coat it, obviously, because I always double coat my stuff. And then the walls are gonna be like a different tan color. We're doing a white ceiling because it makes the room feel bigger. Even though it's a big bathroom already, it's really gonna open it up with that skylight and a white ceiling. So we're gonna paint inside the skylight first, and then we can roll. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really trust this ladder, but we're going up, way up. Ooh. So we're just gonna cut around this edge here. So when we actually do roll our paint, we don't have to come up so high. So I'm gonna take a little bit of paint and just start cutting in up here. It's gonna take quite a bit of paint because it is fresh texture. You have a lot of grooves you wanna get into. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell here with the lighting, but I did cut in around the edge and in these corners just to make it easier when I'm rolling. I don't have to worry too much about getting paint in these corners. So, whew, now we must roll it. Let's go. Oh, okay. okay. So there is a wrong way to actually paint. And that biggest mistake I see a lot of people doing that don't have a ton of experience painting is not having enough paint on your actual roller. You can see that I am dunking this mother in there. I'm dunking it. I'm letting the paint absorb into my brand new roller. And you're only gonna like actually learn this with experience. I'm not gonna get very far on my first dunk here. Someone without a lot of experience might have went all the way to the other end of the wall to the right side of the screen. But I know that, that, is, that there's no shot I was gonna get that far without not having a really good application. Especially on my first coat, you wanna cover all of the little crevices within that knockdown texture. Um, you're gonna get messy. You're gonna have some paint dripping. Obviously, it's gonna happen, guys. Um, it's not a super clean job. Obviously, you're not gonna make a complete mess unless you're me and you have it all over your arms and your face. But <laughs> you always want to cover your tracks when you're painting. Um, you'll probably see here, um, I'm assuming eventually, I will go over my previously rolled sections just to ensure I have an even coat and an even blend between all of my rolls on my ceiling here. Because believe it or not, if you try to stretch that paint and it's not the same thickness on the entire portion there, you're gonna see streaks. You can see here, I have a really good application coverage without doing, like I don't have to do three passes on a single section. I can get like one roll and the rest of it is just back rolling and covering my tracks here. That is a really good first roll. And you can see here, I'm overlapping my previously rolled section there to get a really nice blend. Now, it can be a little bit tedious. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I probably back roll way too much because I have like OCD. But um, by all means, you just wanna even coverage across your entire portion of what you're painting. And please guys, more paint is usually better because you don't wanna have streaks in your paint job because that looks like trash. And we don't want trash. We don't like that around here. So it's good to have these little rags on you, just in case you get a little drip, to wipe it away like so. All right guys, we're almost ready for our second coat on the ceiling. What I'm doing right now, hopefully you can see it with the GoPro angle, is ensuring that all of these edges are completely covered with a good coat of paint because it can be a little bit of a pain trying to get 
in the edge with this particular texture on the wall. So it's taken a lot of my integrity right now to get up here and paint this again. Even though you really can't see it, it's kind of like an out of sight, out of mind thing. Okay guys, so the second coat, no matter what you're painting on, a ceiling, a wall, is always going to spread a lot more because you're not having to dig that paint into the actual texture anymore. You're simply writing it over that first coat, which gives you a lot more spread and it's a lot smoother on the second coat. But I'm telling you guys, always double coat whatever you're painting. Um, you're not gonna get your true color unless you double coat it anyways, at least from my experience. So I'm gonna double coat the ceiling and the walls when I actually get to painting the walls. That nice light tan color. Everything is second coated very nicely. The second coat is super simple because it spreads a lot easier on that first coat you did. Um, I don't know if I can do the cutting in today for the walls. I might have to do that in the morning. So I guess we'll see you tomorrow. This color is called Arid Plains. And now we must cut in all of our edges. This is what we call cutting in. Very delicate process here. I know what you're thinking. Pizza, what if you get it on the ceiling? Well, then I just touch it up later. You're just using the very edge of those bristles to get as close as you can to that texture. Right on the edge there. Thought I'd give you guys an update. It's been about 15 minutes and I've gotten all the way to right here. It's actually really relaxing when you start getting the technique down. My arm hurts. Almost done. With the first coat. <laughs> My arm hurts. And this is where we started. Right up there so you can see here very tedious but our first coat all the way around is done well almost 6 30 in the morning on tuesday and i'm going to double coat all of my cut-in work and then we can finally roll this bathroom and really get a feel of what it's gonna look like with the wall colors and the white ceiling. So you don't know what you don't know, guys. And once I start rolling the wall, you're gonna understand why I'm doing what I'm doing when I'm cutting in my edges. I have it a specific width from the actual ceiling. So when I do roll it, I'm not actually getting um, super close with my roller to actually make contact with the ceiling. These same principles apply as they did for the ceiling on the wall now. We're only doing roughly one to one and a half widths on our roller here before dunking it again because you, you, I'm telling you guys, if you stretch that roller, you're gonna see those streaks after it dries. So you wanna have a really good coat here. Always back roll your previous rolls. Um, this is the final wall on the bathroom. You can see with one dunk, roughly how far I can get, about two roller widths there before I can feel it kind of giving out. So I will back roll um, get some more of that thicker paint from the first rolls on my roller again and just kind of smooth it out here with all of these back rolls um, you, you don't want to stretch it guys. I'm telling you I know we stretch our combos on Fortnite, but you don't want to stretch them on your wall I'm telling you um, I'm gonna get one more dunk here and I'll be good to go and don't be afraid dunk that thing in there man Shake it around walk to the wall as quickly as you can so you don't drop any paint and just get another Nice good coverage and always back roll. You'll be good to go. The thing that's like really fun about painting is it's a drastic before and after when you change the colors of a room or paint a room. It really starts looking like a home after you get done painting. And uh, we're pretty much done here with our first coat. All that's left is a second coat, which will be a lot smoother and we'll be good to go. All right guys, we're drying. This is what it looks like here. 
Like I said, that white ceiling really makes it feel just a little bit bigger in terms of not having it all completely tan. Um, I do live in the desert in the Southwest, in Southern New Mexico. Um, this type of texture and paint color is very common. Earth tones, browns, sand, the colors, etc. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. The only last little thing here is peeling up all this plastic and tape, caulking the edge of the bathtub, and then cutting it in um, with two coats there, and we'll be completely done with the paint job. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something, and y'all stay sweaty.